Kate, women, I mean, there had been some conversation as to perhaps women did better in this recovery than men did. We've got some uh, stats here. Women make up about 50% of the overall work, uh, workforce, but 80% of low-wage jobs uh, and the overall uh, women's increase in low-wage uh, employment over the last three years, 60%. Talk to me about how women have fared. Right, I think that's absolutely right is, uh, in some senses, women have done better in the recovery in terms of gaining back jobs. Yeah. Um, but the question is, is what are those jobs, right. right? What are we looking at? And the fact of the matter is that these jobs are not so great. The 60% figure you cited, you know, the, the idea that 60% of women's jobs that have come back are in, are in occupations like waitressing, like childcare workers, those aren't the kind of jobs that can support a family. Right. And I think that's an important part of the recovery for women. And unfortunately, complemented by the loss of the public sector jobs, um, which we know Americans have lost hundreds of thousands of those. Teaching the, lots of cuts across the, these states. And an important point uh, to think about for the minimum wage is minimum wage workers are women. They're two-thirds women. And so when you're talking about raising the minimum wage, you're really talking about raising women's wages and working on and that. And household wages, right? Oh, because yeah. women have kids and they're often, uh, in, in many cases, the single breadwinner for some of these houses. You know, I mean, that, that's absolutely right. And uh, analysis has shown that if we raise the minimum wage to $10.10 .10 an hour, one in four working mothers is going to get a raise.